All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Reader. So we are doing the AI sector review, looking at AI itself and PLTR. Very quickly, if there are any other AI stocks I should be covering, please let me know, throw them in the comments. I mean, I have been very, very blunt about what I think about this sector. I really think it's a very important one. I, I do my recent runners more for the views, like, Sector reviews is, is how I move my money and it's it's really important to find one that you like, look at all the stocks that you can across it and then attack and then retreat and then attack and then, you know what I mean? That's that's how I swing, right? And it's looking like we should be attacking soon, right? So gotta love the break, gotta love the eight, gotta love all these, man. There's so many technicals I wanna talk about, but real quick, before we get into any of it, just if you're new, what are we gonna do today? Same thing we always do, right? We're gonna take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how things are setting up. We have our five moving averages, these horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself, and then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like and subscribe, it does go a really long way with these YouTube algorithms, but hey, even if you don't, just thank you so, so much for watching these, all right? And then look, I am not perfect, I am not all-knowing, I do not have a crystal ball telling me what Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, tomorrow is gonna look like so yeah if you disagree with anything throw it in the comments i'm not going to be a hater and yeah you very well may sway my opinions and i'll say thank you to you for sure all right so let's get into it and again there is just so much to like here right big gap up on the earnings really really bad week in the nasdaq and i think as things have recovered as the 50 moving average just keeps going up as we golden cross the 100 over the 200 Man, this is this is a pretty, pretty chart. Again, we just break this 2580 line, 85, whatever, and there's a lot of reason to believe we're gonna be coming to this 80 to 2850 mark, right? Money over all the moving averages is such a good place to have it, all right? Coming on the weekly as well, again, it actually looks like we're gonna be coming to this 28 line and, and really testing the 100 moving. And remember, there is no 200 moving average yet. And you can see, this 100 moving average is still a pretty new line. Like, we really need to go a lot deeper into the into the 100 days of trading before we'll get to that 200th day, right? So um, I'm obviously not gonna count all these candles in front of you, but I'm not sure that we've done 50 days of the 100 yet, right? So plenty of time before we'll get the 200. And yeah, if we can break that 100, if we can get over roughly 29, whatever that number might be, let's just actually get the exact, why not? If this thing can get over 29.15, you're gonna have your money in a stock that's over all the moving averages on the weekly and over all the moving averages on the daily. Man, there is nothing more powerful that not than that, I'm telling you, okay? Um, yeah, there's there's really not too much more I gotta say. You know I love a stock that's over the eight. I can see the eight wanting to keep going up. I can see the 20 wanting to keep going up. It also is starting to look like these guys are getting ready to separate. I like that, right? They, they start together, and then hopefully this one goes up and then this one kind of stays down but goes up, right? So um, yeah, there, there's really reason to believe that there, there might be some good gains happening here, right? Look, just going from here to here is a, is a good 10% move, right? And obviously you saw what would really happen if we break that. Let me just zoom out. Do I actually have lines over the 28? I do. So yeah, the next place I really do see it is this 34. Let's kind of zoom into that little cluster to see if there's a there's a different, better line we want to draw. But nah, I like that a lot. Maybe we can put one right there if we want at around 31. But nah, I like that. I think we're going to keep that. I think we'll keep 32 in the back of our minds. I don't think I really need to draw another one between 28 and 34. I think we'll play that by year. One more time, I, I say this often. Look, I'm not much of a pattern trader, but I'm seeing a W set up, and W is for winner, and if we can break that peak, man, I'm telling you, AI is looking juicy 
for sure. I know I looked at the weekly when we talked about that, but what does the, the weekly actually look like? Look, break the eight looks like we're continuing. We do still have a couple days left, so hopefully we close there. I would very much love to close over the top of this, over the 50, this is an important line to close over. Hopefully by Friday we're well above it, but if not, just stay over it. That'd be a very, very good thing. Again, we talked about the, that separation between the eight and the 20, right? So hopefully that's kind of what's happened here, but I'm liking this. I, I actually very, very much so am, so. PLTR, what does Palantir look like? Again, super, super tight moving average cluster. I really hate a stock that is this tight with all the lines. It's now at least four of the five. It does seem like this one's kind of dropping off and we're now kind of going with that. In a lot of ways, that's good, right? Because, hey, hopefully this is super tight and maybe a little bit easier to break than with all five, right? But end of the day, we're still very, very much in the thick of it. Um, I'm just thinking if I wanna move this line to right here, if I wanna keep this right here. Um, man, I don't know. Give me a second. Do I want to move the line right there? I don't think I do. What is, what's the top, the bottom of that? Yeah, it's not quite there. All right, we're going to keep it as is. I don't think we need to move the, the resistance lines. Look, again, if you can break this, you will fly. And hey, I like that the eight looks like it's going up. I like that the 20 kind of looks like it's going up. I do like that the 50, like there's reasons to say, hey, it looks like this thing's going up. End of the day, I mean, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just move this line. I really would. Once this thing can get over, and I'm going to go ahead and send an alert, 845. Over 845 is going to be some pretty juicy trading on this bad boy for sure. Because then, again, what do you got? Nothing but red, 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 and green, 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 green to quickly fill, right? Maybe you'll come up to here real quick at 920, but I got to believe if you're going to hit 920, you're going to probably start cracking 970. If not, honestly, maybe even 10, 10, 11 here. So still a long way to go before we get here, and, and ultimately, it's going to be breaking this. I, I don't care about any of this noise until I see a good big candle that says I'm out. I'm gonna do this really quickly, okay? I don't like, I'm not picking on this stock, but you can just really quickly see on HUSA, it, it's the one that I know very quickly. Things can go horizontal for months. Things can make a quick look like they're gonna go up, a quick look like it's gonna go down, up, right, down. It, it, it's not until you get some hard confirmation that like, you know, it, it, it's, it happens, right? So just, just know that you can go horizontal, you can peak up a little bit and down and just kind of come back, right? So I've seen it happen, honestly, no stock is greater than the moving averages in my opinion, you know what I mean? So Palantir has some work to do. Look, I'll be honest, I, in a lot of ways, regret being out of this because I basically sold at 8 and we're at 8.22, right? Am I really that sad though? I'm actually not because look, I love my parents so, so much, okay? They gave me a lot of love, a lot of attention. Unfortunately, they didn't give me an infinite amount of money, right? So the money in my account is limited. And believe me, I made some good moves with that money instead of leaving it here and only being up like 20 cents on the share, right? Again, I'm not telling you what to do with your money or anything like that, but like, I don't feel bad that my stop loss hit and you know it's gone up since then, right? I actually don't. And end of the day, as <clears throat> excuse me, as excited as I was here, as excited as I was here, I'm still yeah, a little excited here, but it's not going to matter until we confirm, okay? So just keep that in mind. The weekly, look, you got to believe the weekly is going to be in a horizontal cluster as well, and the longer this goes, the tighter it gets on the weekly and it just it gets harder and harder as it gets tighter and tighter and then boom right so just make sure you're on the right side of that boom that's for sure so um i'm gonna end it here i'm gonna do a couple more of these hopefully today for sure for sure tomorrow if i don't finish it but hey if you disagree with anything please let me know otherwise i appreciate your time so much and i actually really need some water right now thank you thank you